Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's a little bit of a different one. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how I um, edit some of my drone photos for real estate, in particular how to create a border around a property. So you're not going to see my beautiful face in this one, I'm just going to show you my screen and exactly what I do. Um, the If you're like me and you're shooting a bunch of real estate work um, and you're using a drone, chances are you're going to be including top-down shots like this one that you can see here. Um, the it's a really good idea to be able to um, uh, show the boundaries of the properties. Not so much for ones like this one, but for ones where they might be a bit ambiguous and you might not be able to tell exactly where the boundaries are. Um, the estate agents really appreciate um, you being able to show those boundaries. So I'll show you exactly what I do. I've got this shot here, which has already been merged as a HDR image. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can look at some of my previous videos on how I shoot real estate photos. Um, but basic, basically, once you select all the exposures, you hit Shift Control H on a Mac, and it will do, uh, do a HDR merge for you, or you can select them, right click and select do HDR mer merge. Um, then you do your basic edits, however you'd like it. Um, the uh, This one's already obviously been edited, so you can see what it looks like. Um, once you've done everything in Lightroom, you right click and edit in Photoshop. Now what this will do is it will open it up in Photoshop and this is where we uh, do the fun stuff. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new adjustment layer. Uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to select the polygonal lasso tool. Um, and then basically you're just going to create a square around the property or fo just follow the boundaries. And if you mess it up, you can just press escape and start again. Uh, then you're going to select your bucket tool and you're basically going to paint the inside of that square, whatever color, it doesn't matter. You're going to go over here to fill and you're going to drop that to zero and that will get rid of that. Then you're going to go into this FX tool and you're going to click stroke. And what this will do is it will give you a whole bunch of options, um, but you can see over here that it's painted a boundary around the outside of that box. Um, you can change the color. This is the color that I use for the agent that I do the most work with, but you can change that to whatever color you'd like. You can make it as opaque or as bright as you like. You can change the size and you can change where it sits on the actual, um, on the actual box that you've drawn. So if you wanted it to sit on the outside, you could do that. Um, click OK. And then that's basically it. From there, you can just um, export the image. So that's how I create a boundary that's colored. Another way that you can do it is that you can actually create a mask. So um, this won't create a colored boundary, but you can uh, show where the um, boundaries of the property are. So what I would do here is I would drop the exposure a bit. I would go into my mask. I would click brush. I would make this big. I would increase the exposure. I would paint. You don't need to worry about being in the lines. This is very similar to how I do my um, how I do my windows. You paint it like that. You then select the erase tool, and then click. Then you move across, hold shift, and that will draw a straight line. Then you do that around all the boundaries of the property. And then as you can see, um, that will show the property. You can even go back here, drop the exposure of that even more, and then go back into your mask and increase the exposure of that even more, just to make it even more obvious again. So yeah, they're the two, two different methods I would use to create um, property lines, uh, sorry, boundary lines on property photo, uh, photos that I shoot for my drone. So yeah, I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, please give it a, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.